Hey, it's Casey again. Thanks for joining me on the post today. And today I'm going to talk about how I got over being super introverted. This was a huge problem for me when I was growing up. I was super shy and didn't want to talk to many people and it made me uncomfortable being around crowds. So being around crowds became very exhausting. I noticed that I was more or less retrieving into myself and hiding. Um, I didn't want to do a lot of social gatherings. I felt forced uh, by family members, you know, just interacting with other people on a whole. And then I realized that I actually had some type of issue simply because I wasn't meshing well with others. I noticed that the issue for my introversion only became worse when I actually went to high school. Um, I felt like a tiny fish in a gigantic pond. It was It was kind of hard, like trying to get to know people and making friends, not feeling awkward. So I decided to be more creative since I couldn't voice what was going on. I think writing it down really helped break me out of my shell. So I think what was a really pinnacle point in my life is when I actually went to Jamaica for a summer and spent time with my family. Um, I was out with my cousins and I went to the mall. That was a bad idea. When I went there, I literally had like, I think it was a panic attack. I guess you want to call it that. There were so many people in the mall and I knew that I was uncomfortable around crowds. So it actually set something off where I had to get out of there. Like I made a beeline out of the mall because it was too many people. So that's when I knew that I needed to make some changes within myself to be able to, you know, put myself out there in the world and be comfortable. So what I decided to do, um, the whole breaking free from my shell and getting out of me being introverted, it actually came along the lines of a magazine. So I was bold enough to start my own virtual magazine called Park Mag, and it was my baby for a while. I started it in 2018, and I got to know photographers and models and um, different people selling products and information, so it really propelled me forward to um, get to talk to people and get to know them. I scheduled interviews. I remember my first interview was so terrible. Um, He's actually um, David Warren. He is my mentor now. Um, It was just awful. I mean, if you go back on maybe, I think it might be on YouTube and watch it. You can see exactly how bad it truly was. But um, I kept doing these interviews, forcing myself to open up, forcing myself to talk to people and and not being afraid to be recorded on camera. So that really helped me to be able to later on make my videos and create content for my page. So I'm thankful that I was able to have that opportunity, um, meeting people, going to different locations, talking about exactly what they did. I'm very big on community and, and uplifting others. Uh, My page is all about inspiring writers, well, newbie writers, newbie introverted writers, because I guess that's my um, area of expertise because I'm an introvert. Well, actually, I have a bachelor's in psychology, and that really helped me to understand my dynamic as a person, as well as helping others with the same issues that I had.